Welcome back, everybody. Well, before we wrap up our newscast today, tomorrow is Earth Day, and in honor of that, we have a guest with some eco-friendly products for your baby. Tony is outside the patio with our expert this morning. Tony? All right, thanks, Sharon. Yeah, that's right. I'm with it. Joanna Von Yurt. We know her. She came here before, and she is a, a great uh, pediatric educator, sleep expert, consultant. She's even helped me with <laughs> some of my problems with my baby. Yeah. Um, but let's get into all these products because Earth sure. Day is tomorrow, yes. and uh, we'd love to get through them all. You have plenty on yeah. the table here. Certainly. As a pediatric educator, I feel one of my missions is to be able to bring awareness for parents of products that they need to use, chemicals, ingredients that they should be aware of that is touching their children or saturating into their body skin when they're in the bath and those types of things. So I brought a few products today again with Earth Day. We want to be aware of these things. The first thing I brought is a baby talk. So this is an eco-friendly crib rail cover and it goes on the crib rail for children on their bed. And you know they start to teeth at some point in time. They go right up to the crib rail. We don't know what's on these crib rails. Sometimes there's paints, there's plastic covering with PVC or BPA covering um, going right into their saliva, right into their system. So this is an organic cotton, great texture outside, machine washable made by a mom. They have a wonderful accessory line here as well. Again, organic cotton, um, wonderful toys. You can wash them easily. But again, children are putting everything into their mouths. So being able to put organic items of a cotton nature that doesn't add toxic chemicals into their system. Um, this product we have is called um, Cutie Bees, and it's a 100% organic uh, clothing line for babies with no pesticides, no phthalates, no formaldehyde, no fire retardants, no harmful chemicals chemicals whatsoever. They use natural dyes and you can see how beautiful and bright the colors are. Mm. Um you know, our children are sleeping anywhere upwards of 18 hours a day when they're first born. And so we really should think about the environment that they're sleeping in, the clothes they're wearing, the bedding that they're on, the, these types of things, again, omit toxic fumes for them to breathe in and their systems are developing. And we need to make this as pure as possible. So this is a 100% USDA. It's basically a sleep sack into a fitted sheet. It's called the Swanling Slumber Sleeper. And it's an amazing product. It helps children sleep longer, safer, and more peaceful. Peacefully. And they also have an accessory line as well, the bamboo organic cotton. Uh, it's a swaddle piece. And again, this is like the softest fabric you've ever felt, made from bamboo. It's amazing. Again, breathes well mm -hmm. with children and SIDS. We want fabrics that breathe, and really cotton is the one that does it for us. Nice. Um, so moving along here, how do we wash all of these products in a way that we're not adding more chemicals back into them? So we have these pure organic products. We want to be able to wash them purely as well. So this product, a biodegradable, again, we want to be thinking about what we're putting into our water streams, what we're put washing down the drain, and, and thinking about the environment as a whole on Earth Day. So again, biodegradable, phosphate-free, SLS, paraben-free, and free of optical brighteners. And a lot of people don't know what an optical brightener is. And it's actually, it's ironic, but we're putting these chemicals into our laundry detergent, and it creates an optical illusion with blue light. So when you get your clothes out of the wash, you're, you're thinking they look so beautiful and white and pure, but however, they are toxins that are sitting on the fabric. So you're putting them on your newborn skin, you're letting your children wear these. I mean, no wonder we have such an increase in eczema and skin problems. Mm -hmm. So being able to have a product like Rockin' Green, again, developed by a mom, great watermelon flavor or smell and um, fantastic product. Then we move on here appropriately, the name Beautiful Earth for Earth Day, mm -hmm. um, a line of fragrance-free. Um, this is a line for sensitive skin, for adults and for infants. Um, they have a baby line. It's a $30 kit, really great value, has everything in there that one might need. And and um, again, essential oils and fragrances. So we don't realize that almost every product on the market has fragrance in it. And fragrances actually are enhanced in order to hold their time period. They use what's called a phthalate. And phthalates are known to increase estrogen levels. So we're putting these chemicals in our bath with our children and they're in there upwards of maybe 30 minutes in the bath playing. Yeah. Um, we don't want to be adding these types of phthalates that are going to have long-term effects on their immunity, their development. Um, so being able to have a natural bath product, we're so tempted on the shelf, all these colorful boxes and these fragrance and all of these types of products that smell so wonderful, but again, being able to distinguish what is going to be effective but healthy for your children. Okay. Um, 
So moving along again, we have this new company, Sudsy Dough, and this is a great startup. They have a campaign this month on Kickstarter, so you can go to their website, sudsydough.com. What I love about this is it's a combination bath soap moldable. It's a creative project they can play with in the bath, so it makes bath time really fun and also encourages good hygiene at the same time. Oh. Um, and each of these cute little cubes have an um, insert in them as well. There's a surprise inside. So um, <laughs> really fun. Again, they have a Kickstarter campaign. Go and support them if you can. Um, leading us next to our next product is Pacific Baby. And this is great. This is one of the only products on the market currently um, for dishware for children. And it's made of bamboo almost exclusively. It's lightweight. Whoa. It's super fun for kids. Super lightweight. Dishwashable. Oh, yeah. um, dishwash safe, excuse me. And um, great colorways as well. So that's a wonderful company. And kids love to eat from this. And again, you're putting their food in these containers. Mm -hmm. They're eating from them. They're going into their body, into their system. And and um, again, we don't want to be putting them in a lot of plastic containers where they can get those BPA and other you know, chemicals that they use in plastics. And then the last product that we have is this Phase 5. It's a revolutionary hybrid glass bottle with plastic outer. So a lot of parents want to use a glass bottle, but then they don't want to have the inconvenience of having something that would break or be unsafe. Yeah. And so this is a two-in-one product, um, makes it super easy so you can store the glass container in the refrigerator, take it out, put it in the plastic all together, take it out with you. And so for parents, who are really eco-friendly and, and aware that when they put their breast milk or liquids into the bottle, um, we don't want those plastics again saturating. Oh, so. Yeah. Um yeah, but a wonderful array of products. Again, parents just really need to educate themselves as to what's in products. Um, be aware that in the United States, uh, companies are not required to label on a product if it's dangerous per se. They have sort of a, a not guilty until proven innocent. And in Europe, my husband is Swiss, so I'm a bit more aware of it. <laughs> yeah. um, in Europe, they have much stronger regulations where products are not allowed to be introduced into the market unless they've been proven safe before they've been before they go out into the market. Um, in this way, consumers really really know when they're buying things that are products that they are much safer for children. Um, and again, just going back to our, our children, their younger systems, they're developing and, and taking a heightened level of awareness of what we put on them mm -hmm. and what we use on their bodies. You bring up a lot of good points. I mean, as, as a new parent myself, I, I didn't realize all these, that you should be thinking about some of these things that you're putting on your, your child or, 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 you know, with your child where they're sleeping. I mean, it's, it's huge. Fairly enough, we're so busy today. Um, can, we have so many products thrown at us constantly. Um, we're quite um, wonderful consumers. We love to buy things with flavor and color. But again, being able to just have that awareness for especially newborn and children, parents are um, extremely aware of doing the right thing. So having this type of education is really helpful for them. Joanna, thank you so much for joining us. You always have great tips and ideas for parents out there. We will see you again because you've helped me so much as a parent. Thank you for joining us. We will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Happy Earth Day.